This summer will be our fourth season that we've had the Take a Break in the Dirt program going. The benefit for the children involved in the program is that it exposes them to being outdoors in nature. It exposes them to learning different gardening skills. I've come every single week, worked with the kids, did some crafts, did some gardening. You can tell that they really enjoy it. You can tell it's therapeutic for them. I think it's a very nice program because special needs children don't always get to experience the same thing as normal needs kids. It just helps him to experience more and enjoy more out of life. The Hope Grows mission is to inspire hope through nature while empowering caregivers to seek wellness of mind, body, and spirit. We believe connecting to nature and the natural world is therapeutic. We also believe too that caregivers not only deserve a break, that they need a break. The statistic that still continues to fuel my passion is that caregivers still are dying before their care recipients because of the strain and stress. Our model is a care for the caregiver model. We believe that if we can reach the caregiver early and support them through self-awareness and coping skills, caregivers will maintain or increase quality of life and then decrease the onset of chronic illness and mental illness. Caregiving and family caregiving is somewhat new to the area of healthcare as being something that creates chronic illness. Our vision is to be the organization that puts an end or tries to put an end to caregiver death and be that organization that caregivers can trust and turn to regardless of their financial means. Hope Grows has narrowed their services into three main areas of focus. We provide mental health counseling, different support groups, and psychoeducation to individuals and families who serve as caregivers professionally and personally. What Therapeutic Respite does is it offers just different activities every month for caregivers to be able to engage in programming and activities that promote rest, rejuvenation, and self-care. We're reaching out to provide professional education and training to help enhance the knowledge of the professional healthcare community in relation to the family caregiver and their needs. We're also still hard at work at getting the Hope House open, the overnight bed and breakfast, for caregivers to take a break away. It will exemplify all three focus areas and serve as a monument to Hope Grow's model of caregiver support and wellness. Our Take a Break in the Dirt program actually is in a community garden in the north side in the Manchester neighborhood. It's an after school program, so they come right over to the garden after school. Their presence really fulfills a dream that I had for this particular garden. I wanted the garden to be a place that everyone could use. It's actually out in nature with the bees and the birds and everything. So for six weeks, the children get to go in the garden. It's a setting that a lot of them might necessarily not get to be able to do. A lot of kids don't get to see anything except for school and their front porch. The nice part about this is we get to adapt the activity individually to meet each child's need. Every time we pick them up from the cafeteria, they're always so anxious to walk over and start the day. He's excited to show what he's done. You know, if they've planted something, then we can walk over to see what he's planted. What's really nice to see when these children come in the garden is just they relax. They can be themselves and they just connect to nature in a way that I never would have expected. Hope Grows is still working on becoming a sustainable organization. You know, we need help, we need support, and how you can get involved is, there's many ways. It's very important to spread the word about what we're doing and getting people involved in our organization, not just to support us on our end, but to support the family caregivers that are out there. By looking into the eyes of your community and asking about caregiving is, is a step towards that. I do get some respite time and, you know, to just relax, I just, I just relax. I'm very protective of him. It's good sometimes to let him go and see what he can do with others. Sometimes it can be difficult to find the hours in the day to do some of the most basic things. It gives them a little bit of relief in that way and, and validates that sometimes it's a struggle. And, and that that's okay. We had a lot of the same kids come back into the garden, so it was nice to see some familiar faces. This has really been a pleasure for Cody and myself. 
So as long as the program's here, you know, Cody and I will continue to be a part of it. That tells me right there that what we're doing and providing is, is, is offering that caregiver just that break that is so needed. I have just loved every second that I've been in the garden and been with the people and all the children that I've met at Hope Grows. I feel like I'm getting every bit as much as I'm giving, if not more. At the end of the day when they say, oh, I had such a great time, it just made being here for three hours, the best three hours of the day.